guess what? I got people calling me, telling me that are a part of her team going, holy shit. I got fucking people on our side going, holy shit. This man finessed his way to Good Morning America. Guess what? He's going on Good Morning America tomorrow to speak on mental health awareness and how he tried to save Aaron. But yet, if you were trying to save Aaron, Louis, and you were so against drugs and all this, why do I have text messages of you asking, bro, um, can I use your car, bro? Can I use your car, bro? No, I'm not. Listen. Why did he want why did he want to use someone else's car so bad? Why couldn't he get a rental? Why couldn't he do something if he wanted to go up north to wherever part of California? Why not rent a car? You wanted to use Aaron. You used his car. Not only did you use his car, but you literally said in fucking in that in that one text message that, that we're putting out, you literally sat there, hey Staffy, thank you for supporting Annabella. You literally sat there on the same text message that you're asking for the car and said, I'm gonna go lock down some Zannies for you, don't worry. Like of course you know the the heart of an addict. If you tell an addict you're going to go get some drugs for them and they don't have to fucking do anything and you just have to... They're going to do it. That's that's like 101, bro. You knew you were fucking running down on an addict. You knew that you were fucking using them and juicing up every... It, bro, I had to sit there and fucking feed my brother. I had to sit there and hang out with my brother, make music with my brother, motivate, motivate him to be better. All you fucking did was feed him drugs so that you could continue to take whatever you could while fucking being so weird that you would fucking put yourself in your in, in, their, in his relationship, bro. Like, I have the proof, bro. It's weird. It's, it's weird. And I don't care. Like, yeah, Staffy, please just chill. But what I'm talking about is very specific and y'all going to say I'm obsessed and I'm weird and all that. Look, at the end of the day, these... This, this, is inf- this is information coming to me from our friends, from our family, from Aaron's fucking loved ones that he really gave a fuck about. Like, you don't understand. This isn't me trolling. This isn't me fucking getting mad and jealous. This is me getting very genuinely upset that somebody really is playing up under still my dog and what he fucking stood for so that he could create a platform for himself. Watch, guys. I'm telling you, when he comes out on Good Morning America, he's going to talk about so many bullshit lies and he's gonna end up announcing what he's doing and guys he's working on something overseas so remember i'm telling you the truth right now he's working on something overseas with some producers and he's trying to line up his new artist so he's trying to launch his brand he's literally trying to cash out after my dog's death and while doing that denouncing other people that literally worked with him before death like me who dropped this fucking song with his approval and promotion the day before he passed, unfortunately. And then you want to talk shit about that. But you're doing this kind of money grab? Let's make it make sense. Y'all can sit here and say whatever you fucking want. I don't need your clout. I don't need your attention. I'm giving you attention right now. Since this is what you want, at the end of the day, at the end of the day bro, somebody has to tell the truth. You kiss. This isn't riding no coattails. I'm still working. I'm telling the truth so that people hear it. Y'all wanted the truth, so now I'm speaking and y'all want to get mad? No, not I'm speaking because I I have the facts and the data. I could actually speak on what I know because I see it. It's right in front of me. You understand? When you see things like this, you start thinking, wait a minute. It's starting to add up. And I'm not the only one. Melanie's speaking out too. She posted it herself. Bro, come on now. Make it make sense. Look at this. Asking her for his car that you knew that he knew was fucked up. Louis knew his car. Hey, dude, Aaron had bad brakes. He had a fucking, he had a problem with getting his car tuned up. That's why he had an assistant to go take care of it who wasn't a great assistant because he was another enabler. But we won't go there, <laughs> Spencer. But at the end of the day, you sit here and try to go tomorrow morning to try to even say that you're so against drugs that you try to help Aaron. Bro, come on, man. And I'll say it. Bro, come on, man. Look at your artist. Your artist, whatever the fuck. I don't even know. Mimi, whatever. Bro, you be ta- you, they literally be doing so many drugs in their videos. It's crazy that you turn a blind eye to your own artist and dude you're enabling every single person and the only thing you're going to do is try to create a management company at the expense of my brother who passed who never signed you to be his manager you were a do boy you were somebody that knew some people and he fucking used you back you fucking idiot he wanted you to book him so that he could make some fucking extra bread because he liked making music that he didn't even need to do because he was just fucking chilling out only fans making 70 30 fucking 50k a month without even trying So think about that while you go at it, bro. My dog didn't need you, bro. He used you for entertainment. He wanted to fucking go outside and be an artist again because I was motivating him and he was motivating me. We were working together. He was back at it after three fucking years of a hiatus. Look at it. I'll speak on it on what I know because I lived it, bro. 
I fucking lived it. He didn't fucking do no music for three fucking years. And then all of a sudden, when I come around and I motivate my dog and I'm literally getting motivated more and more and more because he's inspiring me, putting me behind the fucking computer saying, here, record. By the time I wake up, I want to see you do three songs. And guess what? I didn't know how to engineer worth the shit, but he got it done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't breathe because it's true. It's the fucking truth. Fuck him. He's a fucking fake ass bitch. I hate Louie. I can't say, bro. I can't say I hate anybody in this world. And I've gone through some shit. And I naturally hate this man. Like, he pushed me out of his house. He pushed Melanie out the house. His own fucking bitch. How the fuck as a guy do you live with yourself the rest of your life knowing you ruined another person's entire life. Several people. Like, bro, what the fuck? Is y'all, is, is you good? That shit don't even make no fucking sense. You can live with yourself and you can go on ABC and, and, and Good Morning America and, and really lie like that. Boy, it takes a different type of fucking breed of a human to do this shit, dog. I don't care if y'all want to make fun of me. I don't care if y'all want to sit there and say breathe. I, 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 no. That's how you know I'm not lying because every word that comes out of my mouth is 100% not even got. No, you shut the fuck up and get off my fucking lie. Every word that I have to fucking say is validated by motherfucking passion. Is validated by receipts. Fuck you mean. Y'all crazy. Know the truth. I want everybody to know the truth. And guess what? I, when I spoke, y'all thought I was on some fanboy shit. Nigga, that's my brother. Get the fuck over it. That's my brother. Fuck you talking about. What's up, man? Dile a esa gente que se hayan por carajo, bro. Bro, you hear me or did you leave? No, I heard the whole thing. Bro, this nigga's going on Good Morning America with my PR lady that put me on, bro. The lady that helped me get verified legit. She a legit bitch. It ain't, it ain't no fucking little Indian press and shit like that. No disrespect. That's not what I mean. You know what I mean? An overseas plug. Uh, I, 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 I know what So, and I'm just doing that because, you know, the, the people in the comments, they be switching everything. Bro, this man literally hung on to my people, never made a payment, always promised a payment, and now this bitch-ass motherfucker want to crawl up the ladder and use Aaron's name Louis, right? to try to make, himself, to make himself look like he's such a anti-drug advocate that is so for mental illness awareness. But, bro... Didn't Louie is the one that got him, that got Aaron the fucking pills? Duh. Like, who, come on, dude. Like, that that, that is 100% valid. Lean. Lean. Bro, this is what he would do. This is what he would do. Right? Like, like, let's say, right, we know Joker to be a drunk sometimes. Like, he's an alcoholic. Yeah. All right, let's just be real. Right, right, right. right. But, but he is a recovering alcoholic. Right. My dog, my dog may slip up sometimes and have a couple drinks, but we know he's not the one he used to be. Now, now, let me tell you something. If I see my dog starting to act like that and I'm chilling there and I'm bringing cases of beer or I'm bringing friends that are going to bring fucking more alcohol, I'm not a good friend. Right. This hey. man, knowing that my dog had fucking problems with, with sipping codeine back in the day, this man was coming around with other people. Not He didn't bring it. He would bring another homie with the shit so that he would feel like, oh, man, I want to be cool like that, or I want to do that, or I haven't seen that in a while. Now it's not, not technically Louie, but it's the people he brought around. If we're good friends, we're going to make sure we don't bring nobody around that's going to trigger our homeboy. Yeah, that's a you fact. You what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's just weird. Like, I'm, I, I only say what I say because it's true. You know me. When I'm talking like this, I really mean what I'm saying because I can't take it back. It's not like I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm joking with y'all. I'm trolling. No, I'm. It's stamped, nigga. It's stamped. yeah. It's a fact. But don't don't even don't even pay attention to that. Cause at the end of the day, bro, the shit's gonna come to light, bro. Not if not, not if not if we don't open the curtains, though. I know that's a good saying. And bro, I, I, the, I, bro, come on, bro. Put two to two. Come on, fucking toddler can fucking know what the fuck's going on. You know what I'm saying? Put two to two. Pills, lean, fentanyl, pills. There was lean. no fentanyl, and and, and the, he didn't. I didn't pills. bring. I didn't. But the yeah. pit. No, listen. The pills could have had. had could have had it. I hear you. You're right. I just don't want to paint a narrative that I don't know that. No, true. no, you no. Like, it's just how it is. Like, put I, it. Put it like that. I see that, what bro. you're saying. I caught on. Bro, I caught bro, on. Bro, Can you like? Do you know how much shit's gonna fucking. Crack down when they ever if if they if if they find fentanyl in those pills. But I 
I don't even know. I don't even think they're trying to find that. I don't think the Lancaster Police Department gives a fuck. I don't think even the police is doing no, shit. No, I just said that. They don't give a yeah, fuck. That, that's true. I, I'm literally, t I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Nigga, California police is crooked. I, I, I can, uh, yeah, I don't want, hey, man, shout out to California police. Department. Please protect everybody you can. <laughs> please protect everybody you can, guys. But I know that. I'm just saying, I don't want to start nothing. But like I said, though, and la verdad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes there, yes, there is, there is people out there that serve, that wears a badge, and they serve, they serve the right way. But there's half of the majority of them that don't do their job. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's bad. There's good. There's bad. <coughs> You guys I, are so weird. I, I'm just saying. I'm 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 literally like, like just telling you how it is. Like it's just the truth. There's good and there's bad. There's people that literally went over there, and I'm looking at like I, I'm at the news with all the fucking police over there and shit, and not one of them decided to fucking get through the motherfucker. Like literally, they, they didn't just. If the lady just said, "Oh yeah, he's upstairs." But you can't save him? Why the fuck did you guys just kick the door? I agree. Yo, yo, yo. Big Why you didn't kick the door? Do you understand? Like, I would have literally kicked in the fucking door, moved the fucking Ethiopian bitch, and literally try to fucking, like, save him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for being a real nigga and saying exactly how it should have been said. Blood rock. It's, Sorry. Go trap. It's just how it is, bro. Go like, trap. Go, it's go. Literally, no, but it's just in la verdad. The the Ethiopian chick, right? The Ethiopian chick, or like whatever the, she is. She's an African woman. African woman. She literally came to the door and said, "You can't come in." To the cops, I would have been like, "Bitch, there's far, move the fuck and away." And there's far more than that. There's far more than that. But she's definitely a part of it. Yeah, but I'm not even gonna go there right now because no. I don't want to throw no. people's attention all off. You're right about what you're saying. Fuck Betty, because she's a part of this shit, too. But right now, I need people to focus in on the, what's going on. Louis going on Good Morning Focus America on tomorrow oh, morning yeah. to lie and bring his platform up to make it look like he never did anything to fucking do. And no wrong by Aaron. Like, he was the best management oh. company in the world so he could develop other artists and sponge money from other people. That, 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 that's, that's complete. Listen, to, for them to be their best management, no. Never. But that's how they look. That's how they're gonna make yeah. it look like they was literally trying to put him in rehab. All this shit. Yeah, they made some phone calls. But while they was making the phone calls, they was also going, "Here's some drugs, bro. I got you. Don't. I won't say nothing." Bullshit. They yeah. didn't try to help him at all. Bullshit. No, they did. They, they did by doing this. Hey, um, are you accepting patients? Yeah. How much is it per month? Uh, that type of yeah, shit. Yeah, that's it. That's Just it. to make it look good. At the end of the day, they, it was just a fucking little plot. The whole they were still time. giving him, yeah. They, they were still, they, they were still feeding. Hey, bro, here, take this, bro. You know what's hey, even um, more he... fucked up? Yo, check. I, 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 I'm gonna bring this up real quick because remember the day that Aaron was in, in No Jumper? Yeah. I literally, Trust me, I know everything like about they, that day. I, I feel like that day he did not want to like drink the like. I Let it go, up, nigga. Bitch, say what you want to <laughs> say, chap. I thought that he was drinking grape juice, bro, and it was lean. He did not know he, he was drinking and lean. And then when he did, he was like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's already subscribed. Yo, chat, I, 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 I am so proud. Hey, hold on. Time out. I just want to say time out. I'm so proud of you, kid. You've grown up so much, bro. And you literally have seen things without even, I ain't heard you talk about this subject at all. But the fact no. that you have peeped these, these things, and you didn't even talk to me about it. So that's what fucked me up just now. The things that you're saying are going off a of fucking feeling, off of what you feel. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, you're an empath. And I can tell just because you're over there and you know that. Trap knows it. Bro, I, 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 I know it. Está, está aquí, a sabe? Está, está prendiendo. I like it, bro. You're waking up. You're waking up, bro. Yep. Yeah. I seen a lot, bro. I seen a lot. Yeah, no, okay. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Everybody needs to understand. The reason why I started this live is because I am upset. I am upset that somebody's trying to continue. But I'm making music. Yeah. Music that has, with all due respect, nothing to do with Aaron. And guess what? I <clears> dropped <throat> lately in the feature as a respect and tribute 
just because it happened to be a good love story. And guess what? I wanted to add it for my people and my fans. Other than that, I'm not over here trying to get on Good Morning America with opportunities I've had or Red TV. Shout out to German TV for the opportunity or Daily Mail. I'm not doing that. You know why? Because it's not my place. You understand? <laughs> no. This man's just trying to create a platform to make it look like he was Aaron's manager when he was Aaron's ghostwriter. But people, he don't want to say that. He was Aaron's ghostwriter that would create music and Aaron would fucking sing over it and then he would take it as his sometimes. Not all of mm -hmm. you guys. But there is some. From the Love album. And that's how they met. And that's why he thinks he's so fucking tight with Aaron. No, bro. You just came around, was getting high with him, became kind of friends. Then you started taking all his shit. And I swear to God on my kid's life, bro. On a, I shouldn't even say that, bro, but Really, I do. This no, man told me, Aaron oh, yeah. told me, yeah. Aaron told me, he said, bro, if you ever meet this kid, trust me, he's a problem. Don't ever let me hang out with him, and I'm likely to see him, so don't ever let me hang out with him. I couldn't stop it because I had to fly back to Florida, and while I was in Florida, they clicked back up. I swear to you, this man told me all this shit about how he would take his cars while he was asleep, go run up his tolls, he wouldn't even pay his tolls. I'd be like, damn, bro, I never would take... Can you imagine you going to That's sleep taking advantage, house? advantage, bro. They're taking advantage. Bro, yeah. but nobody want to talk yeah. about that, right? I never drove that man's car unless he told me, hey, bro, do you want to drive the Bentley today with me? I want I want you to drive yeah. the Bentley. He's let me drive his Bentley, but it was kind of like on some homeboy shit. Come check out my car. Drive the car. It wasn't here. Take. He's offered me the keys. Don't get it twisted. But he, ne I never was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave you by yourself, Aaron, today. I, I'm just going to take off in the car and go get some thotties or just go hang out and meet with some people or go to the studio. I never left my dog's side when I, when I stayed over You understand what I'm fact. putting down? That's, down? Fact. that's like, like us going oh, to Big Mike's house and saying, all right, I'm staying tonight, Big Mike. We hanging out. Hanging out. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? But that's like us doing that and then taking off in that Book van. Delivery. Yes. I need, I need people to catch on to what I'm saying. That's like y'all going to your best friend's house, hanging out with your best friend, and while they sleep, you just take off with their fucking car. Yeah, preach. Like, bro, just let y'all want me to breathe. I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna say things and let y'all think on that. Yeah, and whatever you're all thinking, check's got the receipts. Whatever he's oh, saying, he's got the receipts. How do you get, get so involved? In, how do you get so when when Melanie and him were like literally, I lived with them when they were going at their best or where they were they, they were going through their worst and they were going through the custody battle. I was there for all of this shit. Yeah. Guess what? Why the fuck? But I was never, I was never, I was never like, hey, bro, the press is picking up. We need to. No, I was there for him to comfort him. I was there for, for the entire family to get right, bro. As in his immediate Melanie Prince, everybody that was immediate, not his family, like everybody, like that. Yeah. To be there for him. That was never there for his him. His immediate family. Yeah. The yeah. Blood family. But regardless, bro, this man got so involved that it's almost like he was dating Aaron. Like, he would be so involved that he would fucking make a problem. Be like, did you see how Melanie's doing this? Hey, bro, I think you should check out this. Hey, bro, I got this girl over here. We should go over. Well, that's like, how that, bros talk, Chad. That's, that's how bros talk bro to each other, you know? That's yeah. bro shit. You ain't got to tell yeah. me. That's bro shit. I get it. But that's not how you treat your artist. No. You that's what I'm saying. Shit. You even just said some shit. That is how bros talk. That's, so that's what we you do. You were bros. You weren't artist and manager. You were bros, mate. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck that shit hurts. I'm turning off the comments. I'm Yo, my I'm pull, I'm pulling I'm the pulling, comments. I'm pull, say what you want. I'ma say I'm pulling a fucking card out of Aaron's deck real quick. I'm blocking y'all. Y'all talk and I'm fucking I'm turning off the comments. Talk to Yeah, it's negativity. So you don't need yourself it. in the mirror right now that you can't comment. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> People Look, just like literally, bro. <laughs> like honestly, they're just they're just talking so much fucking shit out of their ass that they don't even understand what the fuck is going on. They're not woke to it, trap. They're not woke. Yeah, it's just crazy. People are sat there thinking hands. we're the crazy people. Oh my god, I got yo both of my fucking hands. They hurt so fucking bad right now. Look, trap. I thank you for being understanding and knowing. I thank you for speaking out. No, I don't sure. know, like, you, you're my brother. Like, at the end of the day, that's why Always. I was, like, so Amen. good to pull the trigger and add you. I'm like, bro, I'm going to add him. They, they, I have a lot of friends, and they're my brothers too, but they don't know this specific topic, so I can't readily add them. But you actually knew Aaron. 
Yeah, so of course. Whoever feels disrespected right now, I just want to say I'm not adding. I didn't even want to add anybody, but Kelly even said, can I go at it? She knows the situation. Yeah. And Trap yeah. actually was friends with Aaron. Yeah. All right. So yeah. y'all get, get over it. He actually, Aaron actually was a fan of his music and he would talk to me about Trap and we actually were considering bringing Trap to the house. So get yeah. over it. All right. Anyways, Trap, mm -hmm. you knowing that blew my mind. I want to say thank you for tapping in and fucking saying what you had to say yeah. and knowing what the fuck you had to bro. It's just thank you. Traps the I, I, it, it's it's good to know that there's somebody out there, and I know there's several other, maybe a good fifty out of this one fifty six that really feel the same. Trust way, me, but, man. I know, I know how that shit goes, man. Bro, it's so aggravating when you're like, ah, oh, can't. Do, but I could do something. When you want to, do I want to get? Like but, but, but don't, but don't, but don't. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm saying it on live so yeah. you can hear this. I know where you're at, and I could take it there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chill because karma's so much greater, bro. Karma's a bitch. Chill. You better sign today. I know Arma. every move they make. I know what they're doing before they do it. And I'm getting down to where, dude, I'm going to catch y'all the proper way. You got to play, yeah, play it clever. Threat. This is a guarantee. And I'm not, I'm not bodily threatening you. Nope. That's not a threat at all. That's, no. That's more like a f figure truth. of speech. Bro. Not a threat. It's the truth. Yeah. yeah. It's it's freedom of speech no matter what at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. Man, shout out to Instagram for hosting this live. And fuck <laughs> you, Louis. And fuck <laughs> you, you stupid Taylor wannabe ass. Yeah, you know why he calls himself fuck Louis? You, Louis? He, he calls himself Louis because he can't live up to his name. His real name's Taylor Huggison. Can't live up to that name. Whatever that name Man. is, that's sad, right? You got to make up another name. Taylor, no gang. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is Staffy? At? I know Staffy's in the cut screen recording this shit right now. Like, oh, this is gonna, gonna be on t uh, Twitter, baby. Staffy's gonna <laughs> be on some funny shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually a fan. Yo, record this. I'm actually a fan. I like you. Good well, like, I, I do follow Staffy, but he's saying some Staffy's pretty nasty shit about he's you. He's a comedian and he talks a lot of shit. I like him. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, everybody... just stuff it, just go steady on check, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, everybody's based to their own opinions, but you know what? Nobody's based to just one simple thing because of the fact that this is what we're speaking is the truth and the truth. And, and, yeah, and it's cool. I'll keep catching shit for it, but I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. At the end of the day, they need to know the truth and the truth. No, is of course, what I'm saying. Right from... Everybody's gonna believe what they fuck they want to believe. You know what I'm saying? But we're we're speaking truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all can believe what the fuck y'all want to believe. Because sometimes there's people that will fucking even believe that the, the, that there's a fucking pigeon with three fucking heads and fucking pregnant by, by a fucking snake. The so sky's no, green. My the point sky's is, green. My point is, y'all sit here and need to really look at it. If y'all going to keep bashing anybody and getting in people's lives, bro, really Get understand. Facts first. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to stick to the fucking goddamn what, what it is. Louis and Daniel wanted to be his Aaron's bitch mm. like, in every way. And while he's being his bitch, he was literally taking advantage of him. And you could say whatever you want. The proof is in the pudding. He could continue to hide behind the mask and continue to try to act like he's cool. I mean, we know what he's doing. And I said it, and I'll say it again. If y'all didn't catch it, he's going to try to build up. He's gonna try to build up his brain off of some other bullshit. One like, thing. Go make some music. Why isn't he going to make the music instead of going on Good Morning America to talk about some shit to bring himself up about a lie? Yo, do you, you remember this? I don't know if you remember this. I, I don't know if this person, because I, I do know that this person is kind of like really fucked up for this. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time, remember this. I know you remember this, Jack. Aaron had. What was his name? Morgan messaged me, right? Okay. Or, or no, no. Aaron told me to message Morgan. Okay. I messaged Morgan, right? The long time ago. This is whenever y you, you know, told me, yo, um, Morgan wants you to message him or whatever she mm -hmm. you know about. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm that was coming from Aaron. Remember that? I know. Go ahead. What did Morgan do? He blocked me. Mm-hmm. The whole ass shit. Mm. I feel like at the time... Everybody was trying to make sure that nobody fucked with Aaron for the wrong reasons. And yeah. 
and I, and, I and, and, and that's why I, I'll stand I'll stand with Morgan on that because Morgan was like that he was very protective of him. So I, yeah. I I don't I don't I don't see why he wouldn't to be honest. Yeah. But but. But to be honest, this Louie nigga, that's what I'm talking about. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. Like, yeah. Morgan, yeah. I don't when have Morgan issues. was there, when he protected him so much, he made sure if I Whoa. don't know you, I don't know your intentions, I'm blocking you. I don't want to talk. That's true. So you just showed me something 100%. that speaks for itself. Yeah. 100%. Louis never had his best interest. He would bring anybody around, knowing that no, my dog had a problem. It's not even like, you could even say, okay, he never gave him lean, but your dog did. That's a fact. And, mm -hmm. and it goes mm -hmm. back to what Kelly said. Bro, I didn't even know Melanie. Fuck you, Louis. Just I swear to God, you're right. The point is, bro, how are you gonna sit here and bring other people around and claim that that's your artist and let drugs be around him if you know that that could be a, a, a like something vulnerable? Like, exactly. That could be a lie. Like, What's up, Flo? People, Lou people was need to see it. People them. need to see it, bro. It's right in your fucking face. If if people would just fucking got goddamn look at it and stop riding the bandwagon, you'd actually get somewhere, bro. Everybody go to Louis page right now and tell him we know you dealt air and drugs. Like go right to Louis page. Hey, the same way y'all did me. The same way y'all did me. Hold yeah. on, fuck that. The same way y'all did me. If y'all support me or y'all support any truth or y'all support Aaron in any way, yeah, I'm go like, on Louis page right fucking now and say you fucking drugged Aaron. Real talk. Because at the end of the day, that's, he was nothing more how than it is. a bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Aaron, Not yo, only, see, you know what pisses me bro, off? Nigga. You, you, know, you know what pisses me off, Jack? Like, literally, you know what pisses me off? Is that not only did he, he like, he drugged Aaron, he just left Aaron's, you know, like, like you know what I'm saying? Aaron cannot see his son come, grow. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. now, now, now come on now. Come on now, Lou. That Yo, Louis me. knows that. that. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, he, he doesn't give a fuck. A Louis, fuck. Even, no. Louis, Louis even said on his own page, he said, "Now I'm really you." Just, I don't know how he said, but he said something about uh and fuck and fuck Prince or something like that. Like we're talking about his like, yo, you're literally not giving a fuck about even carrying a relationship or creating a friendship with his son. I remember him saying something yeah. like that. And like, what? This is your artist. You don't even give a fuck, but you give a fuck about what his bitch got going on or whatever in your mind why are you so obsessed like what's going on like dead ass if you really knew bro i've seen some screenshots that are so weird that's like you hitting me up and saying hey bro you're on your tabloids because you and your baby mama went through it bro we should go and do something now yeah i'd be like chapter being weird dude yeah that's my real life yeah you know what i'm saying like why are you trying to get so into his relationship too why are you taking his call? You don't, I know why. Yeah. I just want the other people to know why. Louis so think, isn't who so it could see so they could think So they could think that he's the one going to pick the shit up. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's his car seen around town. <clears throat> he brought next to him when I was eight months pregnant. Yep. Louis is a very good actor. Oh so he's my not God. what you think uh, he is. Oh, my God. Look, it's right in your face, bro. Wow. I didn't ask for this. I guess y'all sent it to her. Look. It's oh. right there. Wow. Yo, that's crazy, Melanie. Yo, I didn't even know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, well done. And guess what? Hey, she'll tell you that. Sure. Yo, <clears throat> yo, I, I, don't, I want her to say it for herself because it'll sound like I'm telling her what to say. But, dude, let me tell you, she's deleted so many fucking numbers out of that man's phone, just like you just said that Morgan blocked you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, there's only so much that people could do when it comes to an addict, and I hate that. Everyone's asking for Louis' last name, yeah, so they can blow the chat. It's Taylor, the it's reason, Taylor, you know his saying? Spotify is Taylor Hagelson, and then it's Girls Umbrella or some shit it's like that. Girls Umbrella it, on Insta, yeah. He just, got, he just got verified or some shit. Here's some freak clout, bro. Fuck it. It's girls. He's all about the fucking money, that's it. Somebody just said trash. Crap, you ain't shit. <laughs> like, I don't care, man. Like you don't want hey, to. I can talk. Flip a shit. Hey, shit hey, stinks, man. You know, you... What's it? I don't know how to say. Well, type it don't in me to... so I can pin it. Don't me to type it. If y'all really, really gonna go do what I'm trying to ask y'all to do, which is speak, speak the truth, man. Go speak the truth right now. Like I'm not worried about no none of the fucking trolls. Like honestly, yeah. I, I can pin it. Less. 
Yeah. That's bro, that. Bro, bro, yeah, yeah, just trolls. That's all you're ever gonna be is trolls to me. I don't think it's like that. No, I can't. No, I'm talking about this. It's girl. It, it's it's something like that. Okay, it's. Like it's I've, I've, I've done it. No, I think you spelled the uh, without due respect. Yeah. Uh, I spell this is the guy right here, and I hate. So, oh, I hate that I'm doing this. Can't spell I'm either. To stay then. Away from giving this dude any kind of fucking attention, bro. But I'm so sick of it, and I help, bro. I've gotten shit from from people all over the fucking world for this shit. All the way from Canada to fucking goddamn America. It doesn't matter to New Zealand. Y'all don't to Germany, bro. Y'all need to know the truth. Yeah. I don't care no more. Yeah. Like this motherfucker's a piece of shit. Speak up. And I never even got to be around him in the house. Cause Aaron knew that I would freak the fuck out. Yeah. I, I was on my way one day and he literally said to me, and I'll put I'll put my old manager, my old manager Eric on this oh, line. That, bro, yeah. I couldn't pull up because he was scared that I was gonna fight him. He was like, bro, I don't know. I can't have you here. Because he knew that I was going to figure shit out. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what the what the fucking name means. I just know that that's his fucking Instagram. I don't know what the fuck. It means he's a girl. Gay boy. He's a fucking bitch. Hey, man. I, I, oh, oh. Sorry. I'm not talking a lot because I'll say something I'm not meant to. <laughs> Sorry. I had to say it. If nobody else is going to be able to do it on their platform, I'll say it. It yeah. is what it is. Right. Why would, he put, why would he put Andrew on the live? He's not in here, is he, Andrew? He didn't. Number one, if he's here, he didn't request. I have no problem with that dude. And he, he continues to bash me. I swear to God, bro. I just, I just don't Two want wrongs don't make I didn't, right. I didn't create this live. To have drama, no. so I'm gonna choose to just. No. If he is on peaceful terms, cool. But I'm not trying to like, and I'm not trying to swerve the what's going on into some yeah. spinning yeah. crazy thing. That I, I'm, I get a headache. I don't want. That well, when you went live, Andrew was live on his own Insta. Well, so. hopefully he's using his platform for the better, and maybe he's getting some information off of this, and maybe he'll hit me up and we'll talk. Yeah. Hit me up if you have good intentions, but literally, seriously, just look at the facts, guys. I'm gonna get off the live. Look at it. I'm going to go on TikTok now because I know there's other people. So, you know what? I'm going to keep doing it. People, people need to know the truth. So, if y'all are going to his page, I appreciate it. I left the pin for a few minutes. I know he's not bold enough to face me. Send this to him. Tell him to come on to my live. Tell him. I challenge him one-on-one -on -one publicly Check. right now. Let's talk. Can I tell what? him some home truths? Yeah, go ahead. Can I be brutally honest with it? No, can I tell Louie home truths? What up, Queens? What you want? No. I'll never tell nobody to say whatever they want. Say what you want to say. I don't care. Just getting confirmation. I want to lose my shit with him. <laughs> what? You funny. All right. Listen, I'm going to go on TikTok and I'm going to change up because I don't, I can't yeah. continue this. But... Well, I'm going to sleep. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Guys. See you later, Trap. Everybody Stay blessed, man.